Sharks, they win against Winnipeg in overtime, 3-2, and then they continue, Then they go on to lose the next three games. They lose at Colorado 6-0. They lose at St. Louis 4-2. Then they come home and get the breaks beat off them 5-2 against Minnesota. They're currently 19 wins, 36 losses, and 12 overtime losses, which, of course, is eighth in the Pacific. Dead last. Uh, the Ducks are ahead by four points. Then uh, when we look at the full Western Conference, Sharks are tied for dead last with Chicago at 50 points. And when we look at the full NHL as a whole, in terms of for drafting purposes, they are currently 31st out of 32 teams. So they are right in the mix to win the draft lottery and get Connor Bedard. And that's that's the only thing going good for him right now and that's not something that i'm very happy about i don't know i'm i'm happy for it man if we get bedard i mean it's not a foregone conclusion that we get him even if we are the last pick right because it's a percentage of of being able to pick him right is that well uh yeah i mean you go into the draft lottery so they gotta they gotta win the first overall pick we'll see what happens there but you get Um, you get like a 24 percent chance to win the first pick or you're guaranteed yeah, you're guaranteed like a top three. four. Yeah, I, think I think you're everybody guaranteed else is like the top 16% four spot or something like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but so we'll I'm, see what I'm happens. officially a Blue Jacket fan. I need them to start winning some games, which yeah. I'm probably not going to happen. But I need them to start winning some games just, and just two dog to... shit teams just dog <laughs> shitting each other for dog shit. If we know? get Bedard, man, I'll be so excited for that. I'm also going to get that kid a Big Mac because apparently he's never eaten fast food in his whole entire life. So. <laughs> yeah, so don't give him one now. He's going to turn into yeah, what's the point? Jamarcus yeah. Russell. Of, <laughs> yeah. could be a beached fucking shark. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't hey, have look. had that one. Would, would, would this guy be like if he was drafted and he was coming to the Sharks, is he like a day one starter? He might be. He, I think so. I think there's he, not he many would, of those. The, the, yeah, even the the number one most. That's what I'm saying. World. Like when Sydney Crosby got one, into the league, he was like, Phew. he yeah, he no minors for Sid. And Connor Bedard is that kind of talent. He could the be other day one. Uh, the other one was, uh, um, what's his name for the Capitals? He like he didn't. Oh yeah, he was di- well, but but he was playing overseas a lot before he came over. Um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Ovechkin? He's like very pro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. dude has like a million goals. Yeah, he's yeah. the the other guy would be um Connor David would be another one that was like day one, like mm. immediately you're on a the roster. There's yeah. no there's no minor league system for you. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, mo- most of the guys that are picked number one overall, you expect them to to be on the NHL roster either right away or within the first half of the first season that they're in professional hockey at this level. So you expect them to come up quickly, come up and, and make a difference immediately. And, and Connor Bedard by all reports is he's that dude. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if the sharks get the chance to draft him at that spot. Um, the sharks have never had the top, the number one overall position, even when they were an expansion team, they were not the number one, they were number two that year. And yeah. I, I, I think about they were the number two uh, when when they drafted Patrick Marlowe, Joe Thornton was drafted by the Bruins number one. They drafted Patrick Marlowe number two. Both of those guys never saw a day in the minors. Uh, and somehow the Sharks ended up with both of them, but that's because Doug Wilson's a big game hunter. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love looking at pictures well, of Thornton like uh, when he got drafted because he had no beard. It was just like a clean face. Yeah. So, and he's got the curly hair. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like almost Jerry curling it. It's, 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 it's nice. It's nice. He's got some good lettuce there. Well, we're going to keep an eye out for that number one pick. If uh, the sharks do get it, you're listening to the SVT podcast, subscribe on YouTube and hit the bell to get alerts. When we post new episodes, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SVT sports pod slide into our DMS. We would love to interact with you.